Welcome. And today we're going to talk to our lovely new Tisbury team. We're opening on the 6th of July in Tisbury and there's been a little bit of a shuffle round, uh, but we've got an amazing team uh, between the four of us to help you with Tisbury and the surrounding villages. So uh, I'm just going to say hi to Jo Bird. Hi Jo. Hello. And Jo uh, graduated from the European School of Osteopathy uh, in 2011. Yep. And then we're just going to introduce Susanna Fletcher. Hi, Susanna. Hi. Hi. So Susanna uh, graduated from the British College of Osteopathic Medicine in 2004. And then lastly, uh, down the bottom of my screen, but obviously not on yours, um, is Frances Aylin. And she Hello. was at British School of Osteopathy in 1999. So Yay. between us all, we have 67 years of osteopathic experience. Well done, girls. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to start with Jo. Um, and I'm going to get everybody just to give a little brief sort of summary about what they liked treating, you know, wise and how they treat so that you just have a little idea. Because obviously some of you might have seen Joe in the past and obviously Danny has left. So maybe um, one of us can fit the bill to help care for you in, on, onwards and upwards in 2020 and 21. So Joe, hi. Hello. Um, Tell us a little bit about you and your background and maybe something like who you like to treat. Okay, so I came to osteopathy a little bit later in life, having done quite a lot of other things. And um, I graduated in 2011, as I think you said already, and seem to have found my area of um, enjoyment, if you like, treating probably sports injuries, maybe more acute ones, people that are invested in getting better and keen and motivated to get out there and get back on with whatever they were doing. I like treating the more mature patients, so um, life happens and bodies get older, but there is no reason they shouldn't function well. I think it is, um, there is heaps that we can do to make things better. Um, and I quite like people work, that work uh, desk workers things like that so especially at the moment we're finding that people that have been working at home that perhaps haven't quite got their desk set up right or didn't invest in it heavily enough in terms of time and effort earlier on are really starting to struggle a bit with aches and pains and things like that and it's really nice to be able to address those problems and send people away feeling better or with a plan of action to manage those things better so that's kind of I suppose the three areas that I really enjoy treating most. That's lovely. Um, Can I just uh, butt in and just ask a couple of questions? Because uh, I know, uh, what is your sport, Joe? Because you're quite sporty. Ooh, but... Yeah, I, I would narrow myself down to one, really. Um, I do a lot of running. I do a lot of cycling. Historically, I've done a lot of sailing, um, a lot of team sports, swimming. So last year, I swam across the Solent for charity because I was living on the Isle of Wight then, and it seemed like a sensible decision it turns out it was not a sensible decision but that is a story i will tell you in person if you want to hear it <laughs> wow that's really impressive <laughs> oh, it was horrible i absolutely loathed it but there we go <laughs> it's very brave i wouldn't do it <laughs> it's the last time for me that's yeah. for sure um and, um and i also wanted to say that um of course some of you might recognize joe because not only yeah. did she do a locum for us last summer she also worked for us, what, six, seven years? We were trying to work out the other day, but it was about six or seven years ago that you were at yeah. Tisbury. And yes. um, so some of you might actually go, yeah, I recognise you. <laughs> yeah, I'm really happy to be back as well because I absolutely love working there and it's going to be super nice to be, to be back again. Um, and yeah, hopefully some of the people that I know from before will be floating about, which would be really nice. Yeah. And I think some of our... The uh, more mature, as you say, the more mature patients, especially mm. Tisbury and, and the local area um, that we see are pretty active, which is lovely. Mm. We're really active elderly, but obviously they do get a, a little bit more, um, what's the word, might get a bit more painful if they overdo things. And so we, we treat a lot of, we treat a lot of the elderly in Tisbury and, and, um, and it, it's just amazing to actually work with, with that age. Yeah, and I I think, you know, things like hips, knees, hard working joints that have, you know, had a long life and done lots of things. There's no reason those things shouldn't, should be limiting you in what you do, or at least 
not more than is is absolutely necessary and there is so much stuff that can be done to make things more comfortable and more mobile and just not have those as such limiting factors and i think it's um there's a huge window of opportunity to make a lot of things a lot better than they are for many people and it's um what a great thing to do it's yeah. it's it's so nice yeah so oh thank you joe that's great um oh just one thing do you um because people like ac do you do acupuncture yeah i do so i tend to be largely um what's the word i'm looking for structural, um, structural thank you <laughs> <laughs> largely structural in my approach um that doesn't mean that it's necessarily um a difficult treatment to receive but it tends to be um yeah ha lots of um structural stuff and and needling as well which is a really nice tool to have if it's something that you're open to to having because it's just a different way of accessing um pain relief and 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 getting rid of maybe some muscular issues and it's it's really nice to have the combination of both approaches yeah and just with the structural, um, it's sort of the rubbing, the stretching. Yeah, the yeah. so I say to everyone that, you know, it's always your body, it's your treatment. So if anything I do is uncomfortable, you must always let me know. But, you know, our objective is to send you away feeling better. But actually, treatment shouldn't be uncomfortable. It shouldn't be painful. And this old idea of no pain, no gain, is absolutely not my cup of tea. It's about being effective but leaving you feel like you have been taken care of. I think that's really important. Yeah, thank you. That's really great. Thank you, Jo. So next we move to Susanna. Um, hi, Susanna. Hi. Hi. So just tell us, because you've had quite a international history behind you. So just tell us a little bit more about your background, Susanna. Um, so since qualifying, I've lived all around the world because of my husband's job. Um, primarily so I've worked in New Zealand in both sports injury clinic and a chronic pain clinic and then moved to Russia where I worked on my own in an international uh, medical clinic um, and then in the Netherlands again had my own my own clinic there treating a wide range of, of age groups um, and then um, in the last few years in Singapore okay. which was largely an expat community sort of more you know 30s 40s professionals um so yeah i enjoy treating a variety of ages and um, conditions so you've had to sort of really adapt your practice um because obviously different countries have slightly different ways of doing things haven't they and and i suppose and also just to be adaptive because you've done all this moving yes and i think you know come that comes with also accepting people's different life situation. You know, people are living on the other side of the world or you know, away from home, all that sort of stuff, which obviously does come into you know, the way that people change their lifestyles, maybe have to give up certain sports or, you know, it takes a while to adapt. So that's been a huge part of it as well. So I really enjoy bringing, you know, trying to get back the things that people really love in their lives that maybe they've had to stop because of their, their condition or injury. That's a big focus for me to try and, modify what they're doing in order to be able to get back to it rather than saying sorry you can't do that anymore um yeah yeah and it just shows that osteopathy is a worldwide thing because i think uh, years ago i went and went on a conference in st petersburg and thinking you know yeah you know, are there many russian osteopaths and it was just amazing to see um, they had a really broad lots of pediatric osteopathy and all the, the um, the muscle chains, the fascial chains. I mean, I hadn't heard of it back then. This was like, oh God, 13, 14 years ago. And it was like, oh wow, this is all new. I'm a bit scared here. <laughs> but no, it was, it was so, so it was really interesting. So just tell us a little bit about how, what you like to treat and who you like to treat. And um, I like treating a variety of age groups and conditions and injuries from sports injuries to more of a sort of chronic or slightly wear and tear, you know, as Joe was saying. Um, joints that, that just need a little bit of help along, you know, ever so often just to keep us going and doing the things that we love. Um, I'm really interested in, in, as you said, the myofascial chain. So how, how everything is interlinked within the body, you know, each muscle is connected to something which is connected to something else. And it sort of goes, you know, from your big toe all the way up to the top of your head in different chains. Um, and so you can, something can go slightly wrong in your foot, but you, you might feel the pain somewhere else, but we have to explore where it's coming from in order to really get down to the 
yeah. crux of the problem. Um, and I think that ties in very well with some of the, the rehab Pilates training oh. I've done. Um, so I can adapt that um, to get people back into doing whatever they're doing, whether it's the gardening, huge walks, or back into their Pilates classes or yoga classes or into the gym, just by slightly tweaking maybe some exercises to sort of allow you know, their capabilities and so they don't re-aggravate anything get back to doing what they love. That's great. Thank you very much, Suki. That's really enlightening. So um, just do, we, do you do like acupuncture or cranial, anything? Yep, I do acupuncture. I find that really useful. And I think most people actually are very receptive to it. Um, so if, they're, if they want to try it, then I think it works really well. Um, the rest of the treatment is prim primarily structural. I do do some cranial, usually a mixture of them all. Um, quite a gentle treatment, very, very much, you know, individual to each patient. Some people like stronger um, treatments, some people like very gentle treatments. So just have to judge that as we go along. Yeah, great. That's lovely. Thank you, um, Susanna. And then uh, Francis, hi. <laughs> hi, Rianne. <laughs> so as you can see, Francis is part of our Tisbury team. So Francis, uh, before lockdown, worked out of Salisbury and Wilton. Um, but obviously life has changed for you, Francis. Um, tell us what you're up to now. Well, I'm sorry, Salisbury patients. I'm sorry, Wilton patients, but I have decided to move to Tisbury because there was um, an opening there and it is nearer to home. And I think all of us have felt the same way in lockdown where we've enjoyed not rushing around so much and driving like lunatics all over the countryside. Um, and I just felt, because I live in Mockham, that it would be a good idea to move at this point. So I'm really sorry. But for those who see me monthly, maybe you'll find your way to Tisbury, particularly Wilton patients. Some of you I know live halfway between the two. So I'm really hoping that I will continue to see all of you um because obviously i've been working for not just back since i think late 2011 something like that so it's been a very long and lovely relationship with all of you um and also we're not really sure when wilton will open again so that one is in hanging in a balance at the moment with this strange time we're living in yeah um yeah yeah, thank you. And just remind um, which days you're going to be coming. Uh, to I'm going to continue doing Tuesdays and Thursdays, the same days I've done for quite a long time now. Um, so hopefully that will also suit um, my regulars. Although I know some of you like to walk down um, to the practice in Salisbury. So I'm really sorry, but you're going to see some wonderful people in Salisbury. Um, and obviously, Rianne and Tom are still there, um, and Rebecca. So, yeah, 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 that's great. So, so for our uh, Tisbury and surrounding villages, Francis, um, uh, introduce yourself to them because obviously they haven't seen you before, and uh, you're uh, when 99, so you've been out 21 years. So, you've got yeah, experience behind you. <laughs> Tell us what you like to treat and who you like to see. Um, it's a really eclectic bag, I would say. Um, I have treated a lot of babies, children. I love treating teenagers. Um, I like treating everyone, in fact. Um, and I, I guess I like seeing people over time, getting to know them, getting to know their history, their life story, um, and being part of their life. And people tend to come back and forward, you know, over many years at different stages. And often, you know, we all go through times of great anxiety, of change, whether it be physical, mental, um, you know, I'm sure we'll see a lot of people after this few months who've, um, you know, had quite a lot of anxiety to deal with. I mean, I love treating um, stress, headaches, neck pain, stiffness you know all over um it's a holistic process where you're always as um susie said you're looking at the whole person the whole body um and you may come in with a pain at one end and i will 
be fiddling with your feet at the other end saying actually you know there's tension here and it would be really good to let go of that um i like scar tissue i like um i like hormones i like um i like yeah dealing with pelvic issues um yeah you know there, there's a lot of different things i do um and sometimes i will do a strong treatment i have a background in deep tissue massage that's um a long time ago i i did a lot of that um i i do use massage but i also do a lot of cranial techniques and i can be very gentle um and as i said i'm interested in the psychology of the person um and and you know that's that's for everyone at any stage you know a baby can be as in pain and suffering as an older person for many different reasons so yeah that's what i'm interested in a real mixed bag yeah a bit like me we were talking the other day actually weren't we francis and, and we're saying actually we're quite alike with our the mix of uh, people we like to see and they're sort of um, looking after people for a long time and our mixed bag of tools of osteopathic tools and other tools and uh, and then but you what did you say you said I said there's a difference in height <laughs> <laughs> I'm really small <laughs> <laughs> and I thought that was great. Uh, that's the that's yeah <laughs> and we're both really chatty <laughs> yeah we do like a good chat, you know, and I will bring into the mix um, all because I, I was an English graduate. Um, I worked in publishing. I was a journalist. Um, I, you know, I've traveled an enormous amount. I've been um, and I've had practices all over the place. And, and it really helps you, you know, you've got um, a lot of different subjects to draw on. And I'm a bit of a gannet anyway. I love studying. I'm always reading something. I'm always learning something new. And um, that, you know, you bring that in. It's yeah. great. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. That's really good. So yeah. as you can see with all our lovely osteopaths in Tisbury, we've got a, a really strong team. And um, we're looking forward to getting back to work there because um, some of the guys haven't actually done any work since lockdown, but Joe and I have. Um, and yeah, people are coming in really tight, really tight and really locked up. So um, yeah, we're looking forward to welcoming all our Tisbury patients back and seeing new ones in the future. So thank you, thank you ladies. Um, and we'll see you soon. You take care now. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.